But uh, I'm gonna show you how to attach two beer bands to a sink. We're using the wrench by Rock. PFS design. So you're gonna go, you're gonna take a piece of leather about the size of a pouch, slingshot pouch, and then you're gonna loop it over like this. Just make sure it's about an inch above the fork. Just enough so that you can fit your tubes under there. I forgot the rubber bands. I don't know if I said this already, but you need six rubber bands, exactly. Just put them in one big loop and cut them so they're just like this. Oops. And then you're going to go, you're going to put your pouch back on the thing, frame. So it looks like this. And then you're going to attach the um, pouch using rubber bands. Like so. And you're going to use the wrap and tuck method. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's where you wrap the rubber band around like this, and then you wrap it over your finger, and then you put it under your finger, and you bring it under like that, and then just clip off the end, and then this can go like this, or like this. So then you're going to take another one, make sure it's the same height, then you're going to take another rubber band, preferably the same size, So they're both like this. Just like two little bunny ears. And you're gonna take your tubes out. I'm using TheraBand Red. And then your pouch out. I'm using um, two rubber bands for attachment to the Oh, I only grabbed five. Rubber band. I can make it work. And then you're going to go and you're going to 
Where did I set my pouch? Crap. Here. There we go. And you're going to feed it through and through here. And this is just for attachment in the field. will work. I have enough tag line that I can make it work. Okay, now remember what I'm about to say. So this, I put it through this side and then I looped it over so the tag line is on this side. It's very important that you do the same thing. So the tag line, tag line is on the same side both times. And then do the same thing with the rubber band. And you can do this with pretty much any frame. Natural fork. Anything. Yeah. And then you're going to go and you're going to go and feed the tube through one of the bunny ears. And then just fold it over like so. I like to shoot tabs because it puts less stress on the bands. So therefore the bands um, stay on longer. So it's I'm essentially saying it's more durable. And then once again the wrap and tuck method. Clip off the tag line. And then here's a very important step. Make sure that the bands are even before you do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, make sure it's even, like I said.
This will work with any type of band, flat or tubular. But, um, flats, it's more practical just to get and use a wrap and tuck method and put it straight on the slingshot near tab. And these are leather tabs. Here's my R10, my hunting slingshot. This is the R10, my clever moniker, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, same way of attachment. Um, leather tabs. A handmade pouch. Theraban red. My favorite slingshot. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and goodbye.